What's good, YouTube? We're back with another Market Watch, but first, this is awkward. I'm not taking a break till Sunday, and you all had the most amazing response. I did not expect that many kind things to be said. Y'all really came through. I... I'm blown away. I feel so much better already. Most of the trolls yesterday even were pretty funny and like not malicious. And I just want to say thanks, guys. You really made my day yesterday. It couldn't have been any better. And I want to start off this market watch with a non Yu Gi Oh thing. The SNES Classic did come out today. I got very lucky. I tried to get two, but I only got one between visiting seven different locations and being told an eighth was out of stock. So uh, it comes with a brand new Star Fox game as well as mini classics. It's got uh, Mario RPG, a bunch of the Kirby games. It's just got so much for every single gamer if you're a Nintendo guy. So I personally am super excited. We're gonna be setting up after hours on the streams and just playing video games sometimes. I have a capture card somewhere in the house that I got when we played Legacy of the Duelist, AKA the true legacy of the worthless, shout out to Rankton. But definitely something to do after hours on the stream. Billy also wanted one, so I guess I'll have to be giving it to him sometime to play with, but this one's not for sale. Uh, you're gonna have a really difficult time finding it though, uh, but this is more so for people maybe in less trafficked areas that might be able to get it still that didn't know it came out today, because I forgot it came out today. Another Enough about that you're probably here for the cards let's get into this market watch ancient fairy dragon is completely sold out of near mint unlimbs uh oh no there's a new one popped up i just refreshed my tabs uh 30 dollars over here and the first ads are settling in at 90. that's pretty crazy let's go ahead and backtrack and check all versions because the cheapest uh yesterday was the common at five dollars and we do not have any ultimate rares in stock here. Uh, the collector's tin had none in stock. We'll check that. And it looks like the common still is actually even more. Wow. Uh, no, that's the ultra. My bad. 845. So these were non-existent yesterday. They are existent today. And the common still the cheapest here at $5. If you don't know what this is for, uh, it's this Destrudo the Dead, the Drake. Uh, the dead drake of dread try <laughs> saying that five times fast and he's basically got a combo with dragon's ravine dragon's ravine helps turbo him out so that the supers are staying up somewhat because of him it was starting to get hyped because of him and uh it's an engine that helps you get field spells slash you know special summons to the field with ancient fairy it's it's not bad it's definitely not a bad combo we come over here ebay's cheapest unlimited is 34 and the lowest first set is 90 they're basically non-existent on ebay also seven total exist very very few near mints at ridiculous prices don't buy into the hype uh, this is one of those ghosters that has gotten higher and higher over time, but something to consider when it uh, bottoms back out, quote unquote, that you might want to have these because this has happened several times with the Ancient Fairy and e it, this is Circuit Break. It's a Circuit Break card. Spirals have proven to kind of take over. I don't know that this will be anything in the top cut slash meta, but it's definitely a good engine for the future after Spirals get hit. Uh, it, depending on if it does not get hit. And we, we come over here in the 10s and see... Yes, no near mints exist, at least on the first page. But again, I show not near mints because people might be okay with uh, a damaged card when it's an extra deck card, when you don't have to have it mint. So a lot of people might be okay with getting the lightly played here, but all of them are up. I just suggest the common. But if you have the Ghost Rares, it's pretty much time to list yours. This is the best it's going to get for a while, in my opinion. Also, Dragon's Arena sitting about 10 on each platform. And say, pretty good super rare, but remember, you can just get your commons at quarters if you really wanted to. But you've got to find other cards from these sellers on here. So you, you want to try to find somebody with multiple quantities and maybe find a teammate who wants some also. Speaking of other odd buyouts... Uh, Battle Fader still completely out of stock for the ultimate rare. I have no clue on this hype if it was just targeted for being Battle Fader the meme. I don't think it has any actual standing in what will happen with the meta or what's going on. But hey, it's it's a thing happening. And on eBay, it's already chilling out. Uh, let's double refresh to make sure. 1850 free shipping. 
Uh, but that does not say near mint and says pre-owned. Brand new ultimate rare card, so probably near mint if it's uh, listed as brand new at 20 before it's 30. Let's let's just double check this description. It looks it looks good. The guy says he has three. And using a stock image. Ooh, let's see here. You're purchasing uh I, I when it says purchasing, it doesn't say anything about damage. But he literally doesn't have the condition or availability listed. But it's listed, so when you're buying from the seller, they should be bringing you a mint card when it's listed as that. But it, I can see why it's a little sketch. But he's already sold three, has three more. That's crazy. They're selling off the shelf at 20 If uh, If that's just not an updated price listing and you like caught it midway. That's that's pretty insane. As you see, the market price at six sixty six for the unlimited. I guess they summon the uh, the demons of the market. Speaking of demons, Beals the, of the Diabolic Dragons. Uh, it's it's kind of got this duality between TCG Player and eBay. This is why I always tell you to check both. I'm sorry, Cap. This ain't our next sixty dollar synchro, but it is chilling at fifty two fifty one over here on TCG. But check out eBay and the rush of sellers. We've got pre-owned at thirty four, but brand new also at thirty five. Pre-owned thirty five. Pre-owned. Uh, but a lot of these pre-owned say near mint in the title. They're just describing that it's been open. I don't. I don't know why people bother putting pre-owned. If it's a mint condition, just put brand new it's obviously not in the pack it's obvious that someone's had it before and it's been put in a sleeve but uh a lot of near mints in the 35 dollar range it's basically being sensationalized on tcg player this is why i stress to you guys to look at both and it's it's a lot cheaper over here so and a lot a lot of quantities 32 of them so it's it's definitely more competitive you have to scroll this far to get to the point that it is on tcg player just seems like a lot of people are trying to hold the line over here and i hope, really hope there's no sales being caused by this if you're the one who bought the 42 dollar one yesterday that was near mint f because you could have just got it cheaper over here uh, Apex Avion also moving down the line to get cheaper. $17 for the secrets. Uh, Jeff Jones didn't use it. Doesn't mean it's not good. It just, it, it definitely doesn't help your starting five. But if you have a good hand, it just makes it better. So it feels a bit like a win more card for the Pendulum Magicians at times. I personally like the card. I find it useful, but I do see multiple hands where it causes a problem where I really would have rather had a scale. And we come over here, $15 uh, for a near mint. So that's as low as it gets. Again, $2 cheaper on eBay. And uh, then it begins to go up. You have to scroll this far to get to the TCG price today. Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring is actually going down a little bit at 70. But what I really wanted to show is how far Diagram has fallen. Let me, let me make sure I'm fresh on all my tabs. It was actually, I think, further down last night. I believe you could have bought it for about 25 last night. Yeah, so 27 here. Uh, Duelist Alliance kind of evening out for the secret. We'll see that go down as the actual release of the structure decks come out. Masterpiece falling back to 10. Not best deck. Oh. But it happens. Uh, we see Tornado Dragon sitting at 10. Uh, Zark creeping up to 7. But the main thing here, Unending Nightmare, $5. I would actually consider getting these. I enjoy side decking them. But it's not the best side. But it's something to truly consider having. I really like this card as a floodgate and how it works. It's not as if it's going to go up just because you're getting them, though. I'm telling you, at $15, I would have your three ready. But this is mainly to show off. Diagram is kind of still going down. Look at it versus its market price. And uh, Ash Blossom actually creeped down a little bit. Just a little bit. We've got uh, something else to show you guys is Code of the Duelist. Uh, has some fallings thanks to the unlimited editions we expected the fallout firewalls crept down from 40 to 35 trickstar reincarnation holding at 22 no cooldown for spellbook and knowledge chilling at 15 dropping that knowledge but the rest of it's dropping down look ningirsu is down to 85 i call him ningirsu like grease a lot on accident uh topological bomber dragon nine dollars um Lumina going down to 820. As you can see, almost every market price versus its price is just lower. And Pro Play Games going in with that low price on Rescue Fair. They really seem to be on the ball on TCG Player lately. But the other thing I wanted to show is uh, Lee 
back down to fives nice to see the coolant and uh world chalice dragon uh last night was actually at a low of 420 blaze it nice to see it even lower 350s 350 so basically the world chalice hype seems to have cooled down and it's heading back towards those original prices and solemn strikes actually holding in here at six on the platform um i i also wanted to show that pendulum evolution the boxes are going up really fast 38 dollars was the market price you could find these for like 32 to 38 uh, from a lot of sites you might want to go check independent sites 45 dollars let's actually look pendulum evolution booster box because i do want to check both on that uh it does seem to be a little cheaper off the bat but only by two bucks free shipping so it seems to have gone up on both platforms overall very understandably so because you're getting a top meta deck out of just one box you you almost pack the whole thing but it's not guaranteed do be careful about that i think even simo showed in his opening super jokers are going up that's kind of interesting considering that we have two more commons coming out people really seem to want to hollow out this deck even in a transitionary format and besides that everything else is kind of where it was i think this product's getting ripped open a lot more because people are willing to buy the whole deck core uh just to show you kind of like that that box is going up tcg player market price 63 on battles of legend 55 dollars just sitting there chilling it, it, they definitely do actually update their prices on their booster boxes and settings something i wanted to show from the set side frame lore omega creeping up further nine dollars on the secret here you can get it just a little cheaper on ebay 855 before nine uh i definitely would suggest having omega still even at this price it'll it might go down from here but omega is just such a great card and everybody could have seen this one coming i believe it was only six dollars a couple of weeks ago and it just keeps inching its way creeping its way up there minerva also creeping up with uh the new light sworn link announced people might want to have this now rather than later remember it's initial uh market price of like 12 to 16 I would think seven's a great deal and that link monster really could bust open for the archetype as this deck probably summons from the extra deck more than any other deck in the game right now so having an enabler if it has good mark be insanely amazing for the deck sage with eyes of blue five dollars uh crystal wing synchro dragon uh you know there's a bunch of great cards from the set Danko is something I would have against Paleo that's been creeping up. It was $2, I think, a couple weeks ago. It's creeped up to 3 It's something I would have in my mind if you're worried about the Paleo Mirror. Or, not Paleo Mirror, my bad. You're not playing this in Paleo. The Paleo Matchup. And then we have, uh, coming back down through here, Artifact Sanctum is something to consider. As we've seen one new Artifact card, maybe there will be more. But uh, it's just something to consider. It's at its cheapest price ever. So with new cards announced in the OCG. So uh, that's pretty much, oh, and these are still super low, even though Jeff used three. Nobody's really going in on this card. And I gotta say, I'm proud of you guys. Uh, it's still a great side card for now and might even be a good side card going into the future spiral format. But it's it stayed cheap and I'm pretty happy with that. So thank you guys for putting up with me. Again, I leave Sunday through, uh, Sunday through Saturday, I think. I might get home late Friday night. I'm not exactly sure. I'll look up my itinerary. Uh, but we'll have tons of guest uploads for you guys. A few prepared uploads, but zero news videos, zero market watches through the next week. This will probably be the last one. I don't think I'm doing one tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I had a lot of fun with you guys. And thank you so much for all the kind words.